So I've been around Night City quite a bit at this point. Bustling streets, beautiful vistas, crashing cars, hypersonic citizens. Wait, those last two don't seem to fit. Welcome to Night City with Chaos Mode enabled. I've always been a fan of completely changing games, from simple modding to, well, this. I had the idea, why not turn the city into an obstacle course? I spent about 100 hours developing this mod to get the right balance of chaos and silliness. The city has been modified with the following changes. All citizens move at hypersonic speed. All traffic laws are disabled and cars move faster than normal. No license or permits needed here. All NPCs are made aggressive. Citizens are excluded because Cyberpunk hates fun. Each area of the city has also been modified with a special effect, which I'll explain as we go. The challenge is, can I traverse the entirety of the city without dying? We start off with Watson and its sub areas. This section is protected by Cyber Psychos. Every 20 seconds, every Cyber Psycho in the game will be spawned on the player. It's a chase scene for the ages, so let's begin. Man, sure would be a shame to get hit by a car right when the Cyber Psycho spawn. I lost him, right? Right? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Why do I had to keep running? <laughs> On your next right, please get into a head-on collision with all cars. With Watson behind us, it's onto Haywood in the city center. Here you always have max wanted level. It means the cops and the crime prevention system are always after you. I figured this area was already gonna be tough because it is the city center, so there's a lot more people and a lot more cars, so it's already pretty hard. Ow, stupid bees. Ow, oh, ow, oh, eat. I'll just take a shortcut. Nothing ever goes wrong down a shortcut, right? Why is everyone hanging out in the back alley? What the hell? Pacifica is the next obstacle and probably the hardest. Back in the old days when I was forced outside and recess was mandatory, I used to play a little game called Floor's Lava. You touch the ground and you have limited time to get back onto dry land. So same rules apply here. Touching the ground sets you alight, and the only way to stop it is to get above ground. Parkour is your only friend here. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Parkour! Parkour! Just like the old days, except nobody's swindling me out of my Pokemon cards. Kids, am I right? <laughs>
Make a break for the finish line. Power through, power through, power through. For the last leg of our journey, we lose our eyesight. To be more specific, every 30 seconds, we get effects that make it harder to see and remove our stamina. These last until the next 30 second cycle. It's going to be tricky dodging cars while you can't see or move fast. Well, it would be if uh, anything really happened in this section. I'm going to be honest, it, it's kind of it's kind of boring. And uh, well, because it was nighttime, there weren't many cars. And yeah, anyway, uh, we beat it. We had our nice cheerleader, Cyber Psycho, waiting for us at the end. And that's the run. We made it from the top of the map to the bottom without dying too much. There were quite a few times I didn't show. Now, this mod isn't perfect by any means. Pretty purpose-built for this video. I will give you guys the files, but be warned. Ye be treading into uncharted waters. Like, uh, floor is lava, needs a bit of work. Unfortunately, uh, Cyberpunk doesn't have a good way of determining what the floor even is, so uh, I had to improvise. And it's not exactly 100%, but it's pretty much there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.